This week's Friday Five is all about five lessons on how to build and sustain momentum from Jim Collins. All the ideas I'm going to be covering are from this very short, very simple book, which is Turning the Flywheel, Why Some Companies Build Momentum and Others Don't, which is written by Jim Collins. Now, this is, it's about a concept I've written about before, which is this idea of a flywheel. If you're interested in, in reading and listening to my full book summary for this, it's in episode 169. You can find that by going to outlieracademy.com slash 169. Now, uh, you know, this book has a concept in it that for me is very resonant, which is this idea of a flywheel, which is almost like identifying the meta strategy for your business, the strategy that should be relatively timeless, that should be as true today as it is five or 10 years or more from now. And the reason I think the flywheel is so helpful is it forces you to think really hard about what your real strategy is for winning and accruing value, and then how you're actually going to execute that. Um, and so I think it's, it's, it's a book that I've loved. I've covered it now a couple of times. Um, but this week, it, we're going to cover it through a new lens, which is all about how you build and sustain momentum. And the five ideas we're going to cover this week are, uh, number one, how to define your flywheel and ensure that every step in it ignites and accelerates momentum. Number two, how to build speed and momentum by optimizing the performance of every cog in your flywheel. Number three, how to extend your flywheel. This is about how to take new bets, big bets, small bets, by firing bullets and then cannonballs. It's a concept we're going to introduce this week with a great story, um, which is a way, so firing bullets and cannonballs is a way to lower the inherent risk of bets. It's great. Number four is how to stay disciplined. You know, enduring momentum comes from discipline, thought, and execution. And number five, how to avoid the doom loop, which is why it's important to stick to your flywheel and apply it consistently in good and bad times. With a great example, actually, you know, if you don't know it, Jim Collins worked with Jeff Bezos and the early team at Amazon to define what their flywheel was. He then got to see them go through the dot-com bust, this incredibly tumultuous period, and saw firsthand how important it was, how helpful it was that they had this flywheel to refer to especially when things aren't going well, when you're getting disappointing results all over the place, the flywheel is a fantastic forcing function. For more, listen to the full episode. You can always, as always, get Friday Five delivered for free every single Friday in your inbox by going to newsletter.outlieracademy.com and signing up on our Substack. Thank you so much and enjoy the episode. 